Welcome back, my friends. So today I got a few things I wanna talk about. We got PS5 pre-orders coming back up. There's rumors about Microsoft buying Sega and owning Sanic the Hedgehog. What? And I wanna talk about these one terabyte Seagate expansion drives for the Xbox Series S and X. So to kick it off, okay, GameStop, they're gonna be doing some pre-orders for the PS5 disc-based version tomorrow in stores. September 25th. So as of the recording of this, whenever you've seen it, if you want to get one, you're going to have to go line up now because you know it's going to be crazy people lining up to get these pre-orders in. There's no guarantee that these are going to be launch day pre-orders. Everything that I have heard is that it's going to be near launch that you get these, but some people are going to be fine with that. The one thing I'm also hearing is a lot of people are saying not, not every GameStop is going to be having pre-orders. So just select ones. If you're interested, call your store, go walk in, check it out, find out to be sure. Because if you line up and you're behind some dude who smells like cheeseburgers and onions, oh my God, to have that disappointment that, oh, sorry, we, we're not doing pre-orders and you just spent hours behind this musty ass fool, right? Now, I know I talked about this before, but there was a game crazy, man. There was this, this dude. He was probably like 20-something years old, and he lived with his mom, and I think his mom was just tired of him hanging out at the house. So she would drop his ass off at Game Crazy every day. Dude smelled like freaking grilled onions on a cheeseburger. That musty-ass smell. Fucking nasty, dude. Would hang out in there all day playing games because at Game Crazy, he'd be like, hey, can I try this game? And they had display units everywhere. And they would just pop in a game for you. And this nasty dude, freaking just nee, nee, play games all day, freaking musty, stanking up the place, trying to get a job there and just hanging out all day. Freaking ridiculous. You don't want to be around those kind of guys, man. Not for an extended period of time. So find out first before you head to your GameStop. Because you know, there are going to be some stank ass motherfuckers out there. So be careful, all right? Be careful. So the next thing I wanted to talk about real quick is these damn one terabyte Seagate drives. So there's been rumors for a while that these things were gonna be upwards of 200 bucks. And we finally got full on confirmation that yeah, they're like $220, one terabyte. There's this whole article, I'm not gonna read all this. I will put a link in the description if you wanna check this out. But the one thing of note, if you get an Xbox Series S, it's only a 512 gigabyte drive. And with it being just digital, you're gonna have to buy some expanded memory at some point, right? And these one terabyte drives, is, it's not your only option, but it's gonna be the option that a lot of people are gonna go towards. And it's expensive, man. You're 200 and something bucks, like another console right there. You know what I'm saying? So they do have this little chart down here. Where the hell is it? Uh, based on, you know, what drive you're using because you can use a USB 3.1 you know hard disk drive on your system or use this expensive ass Seagate expansion card now why would you want this expansion card right so on their chart here either option stores any Xbox game perfect so you're good with you know the cheaper option or the more expensive option play Xbox one 360 and original Xbox games yes on both of them of course of course play games optimized for the Xbox Series X and S. That's a big hell no if you're using a USB drive. You're gonna need to have that Seagate expansion card to play games optimized for this next gen series of consoles. So you're gonna have to spend that money. Replicate speed and performance of the internal SSD. Hell no on the USB, hells yes on the Seagate. So you're spending a couple hundred bucks for this thing. I, I said last night in my stream, I'm not gonna buy one of these right now. Eventually I will. But then I was cruising Best Buy when, when the listing went up. I mean, a little after when the listing went up. And my birthday's coming up in October and I seen, oh, you get 10% off because of your birthday. And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Then I looked at my account. I had a handful of reward certificates that were soon to expire. And that 10% off, I have to use it before the end of October. And then I had a couple of reward certificates that are expiring in October and then a couple of newer reward certificates. So I was like, you know what? I pre-ordered the Series X. I don't think I'm going to need the space right away. But since I have these discounts, I'm just going to take advantage of it. There's nothing else that I'm going to use these discounts for right now. Because if I use it on a game, 
I'm not saving as much. If I use it for this drive, I'll save a nice little chunk of change. So I did pre-order one. And it's just, man, it's kind of, when you look at this thing and how, how it looks, I mean, it, it's like bringing back old school memory cards, man. Just expensive as hell. Like how much were like memory cards in the PlayStation 1 and like the Nintendo 64, stuff like that. You know, 20, 30 bucks, whatever they were back in the day. Yeah, the, the space on them was very small and the technology behind what you were getting is nowhere near what's in these drives. So the price here, it does sound high, very high, but with, you know, the customization on these drives and the storage space to allow for these optimized games to play, I mean, it's expensive. I wish it wasn't as expensive, but I understand it. I don't like it, but I understand it. And it's like, man, especially if you have that digital edition, are you going to need to get one of these right away? Yeah, you could stick with your USB drive for the time being. But, of course, you want that optimized gameplay. You want that optimized, you know, you know, games. Next-gen game. You want to play next-gen games. Freaking spit it out, bitch. You want to play next-gen games in the next-gen way. And if you can't with the standard USB drive... You're going to want to spend the money. So that's a lot of money. That's a Nintendo Switch Lite right there. <laughs> but there you go. So I've been... The other thing, moving on. Let's move on real quick here. So the other thing I've been hearing lately was after Microsoft had bought uh, the Bethesda Zenimaxi pad company, whatever it was, right? We talked about that in a video. Zenimax, Maxi pad. I don't, I don't, I don't What's their name again? They, they got rights to Doom the Elder Scroll, all that stuff. We talked about that in a video. And, you know, I kind of gave my thoughts and opinions on it. Like, you know, Microsoft, they, they ain't gonna leave no money laying on that table. My whole point was with that video was more just I wanted to talk about not even the, the Bethesda ac acquisition, just more so where I thought Xbox was going in the future, just trying to be this whole big ecosystem, right? And them gobbling up companies kind of fits in with that and makes sense. And they're definitely looking for more acquisitions. But people have been saying, and there's been these rumors circulating for the longest time, Microsoft's going to buy Sega. And then Sega announces this controller that looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. And <laughs> the, the, the world just burned down. People were like, it's 100% it's a, a official. Like, that's it. This thing, 100% perfect shade of Sonic the Hedgehog's butt. The white, the black, the blue, perfect, right? Perfect. It's, it's guaranteed they're buying Sega. That's it. Tokyo Game Show starts today, or started on the 24th in Japan. Microsoft has a presence there. 100% Microsoft now owns Sega because the clues were all there, right? The clues were all there. I've seen a few people tweet this stuff. Look at this, this Sega employee, boom, Xbox all over the place. Sega official, uh, the, the Sonic the Hedgehog colored controller. That was the icing on top of the cake. They, they matched up the colors. Perfect, perfect. This dude, the Xbox presentation wearing a Sonic t-shirt, 100% guaranteed. It's happening, Tokyo Game Show, right? That's where it's at, going on right now. Sega is now owned by Microsoft. No, that's not the case. It, it makes sense that Sega would want them, and, or not Sega would want them. Yeah, Sega by Microsoft. That Microsoft would want Sega because they've been having a hard time infiltrating, pe uh, penetrating, getting that penetration status going on in the Japanese market. And them owning like a big time Japanese company, game developer, Maybe that's their ticket, right? Maybe that's their ticket. Maybe not. Who knows? But for sure, I would see them wanting to go after Japanese developers. Is Sega for sale? Does Sega want to sell themselves? Sega has had a very good relationship with Microsoft over the years. So it would make sense. There's those rumors, too, that Microsoft was going to have their consoles branded with Sega in Japan to kind of boost up that interest. I haven't heard anything about that in a while, but that was a rumor that was going around quite a while back. So those, all that stuff makes sense. People speculating on these things. This is just ridiculous. This is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. This doesn't lead to anything. People just like to crack jokes, and it's funny. It's funny to speculate. It's fun to speculate. But I just don't see it happening. You know why? Because 
Why would it? Why would Sega? Sega's doing okay, I think. I know with the current climate of the world and all the boobiness going on out there, they had to shut down some stuff. But Sega's a strong company. Do they need that that Microsoft ownership to become stronger? I mean, maybe it would help them, but then there's also the possibility that, you know, Sega no longer has a close relationship with Nintendo. They no longer have a relationship with other companies, and they're just... Microsoft's little bish, and that's it. Could you imagine Microsoft, their mascot, Sonic the Hedgehog? That would be freaking nuts, dude. It could happen. It could happen. But Microsoft themselves, they, they wanted to clear some shit up, right? So back in the beginning of September, uh, Xbox, you know, hey, we're going to Tokyo Game Show. We're going to be out there celebrating Japanese game creators and games, talking about Microsoft Flight Simulator, Jap the Japanese Minecraft community cre creativity stuff. You know, they're very creative out there. Um, you know, all right. Showcase broadcast in Japanese only. You don't understand Japanese, get the fuck out. That's the way it is. No new next-gen news. But then just, you know, less than a day ago, they're like, hey, assholes, you guys keep talking about this controller. Like, it's not happening, bro. There won't be any new acquisition news at the show. Eh, ain't happening, dude. So, no, they're not announcing anything. Is it likely to happen? I mean, it's po anything's possible, and it's fun to speculate. Like I said, you know, Sega owns a lot of freaking franchises. They own Atlas, Persona, you know, they got Sonic. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff with Sonic, Yakuza. They have a lot of franchises, and they have stuff that's been laying dormant for a while, too. There's a lot of stuff they could do. But would Sega see the benefit of being tied to this one company being under that umbrella and not being able to be as creative as they want? Or, I mean, that's, I shouldn't say it that way, but not having as much freedom as they want. Like, okay, hey, Microsoft, can we make this game for the Nintendo Switch? No. Like, I mean, who knows, dude? It's, but this stuff out here with the controller and all this speculation doesn't lead to anything. People want it to be true. People don't want it to be true until it's officially announced. It's just speculation. Just speculation. Shut down by Microsoft themselves for the time being anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Just want to talk about these few little things real quick because, hey, why the hell not? Really do appreciate you guys' big-ass thumb butt. Look at them cheeks twerking in your face. Uh, look at that thumb butt. Thumb butt action. What? Subscribe. Hit that like button. Drop a comment. And I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.